Sewing machine foot pedals have changed quite a bit over the years. This is a modern foot pedal and this one is from the 60s and the 70s. This one is oldest still. The question is, do they all work in the same way? I'm Ollie, this is Simply Stitchy and in today's video I'll be showing you why this foot pedal differs from these. All these foot pedals are from different decades. This is from my brother SE 625 so it's a last year's model and you literally just put your foot on it and push down and the harder you push the faster you go. This one is from the early 2000s. This is actually Jerome's foot pedal, my Janome QC6260. Again, you just put your foot on it, push down. This one, this is the pedal from the touch and sew, but again, you just put your foot on it and push down. This foot pedal belongs to a 1942 Singer 99, and it works in the same way as the modern pedals. It's a little bit more basic. You just put your foot on it and you push it down. And depending on the pressure you put on it, just the same way, you can go faster or slower. If we take a look at the modern style of pedal that we're more familiar with using these days, you'll notice that they're just wedge shapes. They're just flat. If we compare that to this pedal, this pedal is actually made out of Bakelite and it's solid. Although it does still have that slight wedge shape, when you push down on this bit, nothing happens. It's got two buttons on one end, one of which is it's just a solid um, stabiliser if you like and this one is the one that moves. You just heard the sewing machine go there. Unlike the familiar wedge shaped modern pedals this one has got four different methods or ways that you can operate it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the four different ways that you can use this pedal and at the end I'll tell you which one is the correct way or which one was the way that Singer intended the pedal to be used. I don't have a cabinet for this so I'm going to have to just demonstrate it with my hands. What you do with the pedal is in the underneath part of the sewing machine cabinet you'd mount this in a bracket on the side of the furniture and you'd have a little lever that comes across and pushes this button down. Just this button. Like I said, this one doesn't do anything at all. And the lever would push the button and work the machine for you. A lot of people will put the foot on the pedal and using their big toe just push down on the button that moves. Number three utilises this button here which doesn't move. This is actually a stabilising block or a stop if you like for your foot and what you do is you put the ball of your foot on the top of both buttons and you use it as a home position. So when you're not sewing your foot is just at rest like that and when you want to sew you just roll with the ball of your foot onto the button that makes the sewing machine go and then just roll back off it again. Method number four works in a similar way only instead of working this button with your toes you actually turn the foot pedal around and use your heel. So for this particular method what you do is you put your foot on the pedal with your heel on that stabilising block and then this is the home position. When you want the machine to go you roll off that home position onto the button that makes it go. And then if you just want to rest you leave your foot on the stabilising block. So there you go, four different ways of using one foot pedal. Now if I'm honest, I don't particularly like any of those methods 
And over time I can see that most of them, apart from the one where you've got it attached to a cabinet, being a bit painful. Now when Singer first introduced this particular pedal, I think they did intend it to be flexible um, and to allow the user of the pedal to decide which was the best way for them. Although I think their intention was that it be operated by putting the heel here and having your foot like that, at the end of the day if the method that you use to work this foot pedal makes your machine go then that's the correct method for you. It doesn't really matter what the correct way of using the foot pedal is as long as the end result gets you a working sewing machine then hey go with it. Me I'm gonna carry on using my big toe. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And why not go and check out some of the other videos that I've got on my channel using the links that will be on the screen any minute now or the ones I'll put in the description box below for you. And why not consider subscribing and click that little bell that's just above the description box. And that way YouTube can send you a notification next time I upload another video. Let me know in the comments if you've ever used a foot pedal like this one and how you got on with it. Whatever video you go and check out next, I hope to see you back here for the next one. And in the meantime, whatever you're sewing, whatever you're sewing it with, embrace your creativity and have fun. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.